Hi y'all. This is Jeff from Jeff's Festival Gardening and Containers. Uh, I wanted to go over a few things, so I'm trying to adjust this camera here right now. Can't really see where I'm going with this damn thing. All right, so I did one the other night about uh, uh, pruning, not pruning, I moved my seedlings that were in these Little cups into the red cups and stuff like that I did for uh, getting seedlings ready to go outside soon. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to take these sweet potatoes I've had soaking here in water for 24 hours and we're just going to set them in the soil. So when we, when we take them, you can see they're, they're wet. They just, they're not soft or anything. They've just been soaking. They're still hard. They're left over from last year. But what we're going to do is put them like halfway down in this potting soil. That's all this is, is potting soil with um it's just lightly damp is all it is it's not wet there's no not, not any moisture added to it or anything like that it's just from the bag and from being outside it's just lightly moist from being out there so we take these sweet potatoes and i've got a couple different variants of left over and i just push that down into the soil and i'll show you a picture in a minute and down inside there but it's just about halfway down in, in the soil and that's all you got to do with those you can see it, there's about three or four inches of soil in there. So I got a couple different variants. Uh, this is the orange with the orange inside. That's the uh, purple with the white inside I just put in. So I push these down. So what ends up happening is this is going down the soil now, about halfway down, just sitting there. And I'll sit it up in the wind upstairs in the sunny, another orange one. So what'll happen is I'll sit that up inside the soil and I'll really push these down to really get them in the soil good. So they'll sit in that soil in the sunlight and what they'll grow is they'll grow slips. So the, what these slips will end up doing is that they'll grow like, um, I don't know how to explain it to you. Just like um, a slip would look on a sweet potato, start growing leaves off and all that kind of stuff and they'll just grow up and up and up and what they do is they grow onto the sweet potato on the underneath side that's in the soil and what you do is you get down and you, once they get up, you know, so high, you know, six to eight inches, they'll be in this thing when they're done, is you go up and you, uh, then you would just snap those off and try to save as much roots and as much of the bottom of the slip you can coming off the potato, take it. Then what you do is just get a cup, like say this cup right here, and you just take a cup and you just put all the slips right down in the water. After you've done running them in here, you set them in the water in there for maybe I guess about two weeks, two weeks, three weeks, and they'll grow a bunch of roots off of them. It's just a natural thing with sweet potatoes. And then once those roots are growing, you can pot them right outside in your, uh, I do mine in uh, bigger plastic trash cans normally, but you can put them in the trash cans or pots, whatever way you choose to do it, but you're doing yours. And when we get to that point, I'll show you. But my main focus is, is to get all these different varieties down in the dirt uh, I got a couple more left in here. You can see they're, I've grown pretty sizable ones, and the reason why is these are all, like I said, for me cooking last year. Is the reason I put bigger ones in here it just gives you a better uh, chance of growing more sweet potatoes because of what you have growing on there is more of a you put smaller ones, there's a smaller chance. And there's like this one is a different type, but I'm just going to try because it, it still has you can see the thickness of it. but. You know, if it's a real skinny, tiny little thing, it, it's just not going to grow like uh, the amount of slips you want it to do. But once these get going, you come out here for a week or two straight. If it's when I put mine in last year, it was I did them way too early. But I think I started them in February because I was bored. It was winter time, and I put them in. And when I put them in, it took till whew, I don't know, uh, oh, a good. Good month too till I started doing something. Then once once they started coming up, I'd done my other years, but I just did them earlier because I was just like I said a little bored with the way the winter was going. I just said oh, I'll start them around and see if I get any more production. So they're all sitting down there nice and tight in the soil now. And when you put them in too early, they, they don't hurt, but they just don't uh, <coughs> do anything thing until they see so much light and the. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, they see too much light until they see enough light, and plus they have to um, have some type of warmth to tell them too. So they're, right now they're sitting out on my outside porch because I'd finished doing some uh, 
transplanting here last night on some other stuff. So once they're just sitting there like that, that's that's all you do. You know, you know the soil all dries out. You might have that's uh, not add well, You just take a spray bottle, and spray everything if it dries out. I had mine last year for two and a half, three months. Way early, like I told you, really it only takes like four, three to four, two, three to four weeks to grow. To see the slip starting. Probably six weeks total, maybe eight till they get up size, and then two weeks in the water. And you don't put sweet potatoes in until the end of June anyway. So they only like hot weather, and they'll just grow and take over the whole the whole garden. So still way ahead doing it the way I'm doing it now. Um, but yeah, you want to get them in. It'll uh, take a little time for them to get going and growing. But I'll take these upstairs, and they'll be sitting in the light, in that window light up by where I do my other stuff at, and. That's really all there is, unless you got to add a little more water if it dries out, but I have not seen that yet. And what I do, I'll be right there, is I take a uh, long day. I take this cover like this and just sit it right on top of there like that. That's all I do. But what you want to do is like just, just a little crack. And then what I do is I stick a plastic fork or spoon or something like that. I leave it just so it get, gets a little bit of venting in the top, and I'll do that once I get it upstairs. Gives a little vent, and what this becomes is it becomes like a little uh, uh, a growing box for them, uh, and keeps the heat in them, even in the light upstairs and everything. And then they'll just take off and do what what they need to do to grow. And once the slips are there, I'll get to that point and I'll show you. We'll pull the slips off when they come in in a couple weeks. We'll put them in the water, and then once we get them out of the water, I'll show you how I plant them outside and everything. But that's kind of it. I'll just want to I'll show you in here real quick. Just you know, I think uh, I'm teasing. Watch. I hope this camera don't go too uh, crazy here when I take it out of this camera holder. But you can see here if you go down, that's them right there. That that's the sweet potatoes. And as you can see, they're they're just sitting in three or four inches of pot and soil, uh, lightly damp. And that's you just sit them in there and then uh, put the cover on, sit them in front of the sun, and just leave one end crack just a little bit. Like I said, with a plastic fork or whatever you want to put in there, just to keep it up, and, they, and that's all you do. And it becomes like it's almost like a like a plant geranium or like an aquarium kind of thing, but it just sweats and uh, keeps the humidity there and lets them grow. And the sun hits them, and boom, they're before you know they're grown. And once we get them out of there and grown, we'll uh, we'll send you some stuff about planting them. We'll share the process of them over the summer. All right, guys. You'll have a great night, and uh, we'll get back to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe on uh, any of the various uh, websites we have out there, plus YouTube. And uh, thanks again, and share, share the videos. See you now.